we should be having for the back bodies and the front bodies. I'm having my two circles. Starting off with the basic bodies pattern, I have my front and back bodies here. And I'm using the basic bodies that has the shoulder depth and the waist depth, both on the front bodies and on the back bodies. So we're going to start with the front bodies first. Take this out. What we're going to be doing for this first is to slash through this waist depth and close up the shoulder depth. We're transferring the fullness from the waist depth to the shoulder depth. So the next thing we're going to do is work on the neck line. We're going to be using a three and a half inches wide neck line. And the depth will be three and a half inches as well. Also going to draw the shoulder line that way. So let's cut off the neck. After this has been done, the next thing is to draw our armhole princess dot. You're going to find the midpoint of, a, of the armhole. So the midpoint should just be about there. And I'm going to be connecting it to... I'm going to be connecting it to the um, apex of this bus point. So you can do a tightening along the waist there. Continue straight down. The next thing we're also going to do is make sure that we have um, tightening here. You need to tighten along that part and we can do a 0 0.75 inches tightening. So what we'll do is get a measuring tape. I'm going to do like a 0.25 here and about half inch here. So we can withdraw the curve into this area. And we can cut this out. So we're cutting this waste that um, as well as this part that we've tightened along the um, princess, armhole princess that. Okay. 
I'm also going to chop off the start here. Okay, so finally for us to know that we are on point, we are going to match up these lines, like put the lines together. And let's see if it's matching up this and this good. Um, yeah, good. But you see that it's shortened here, right? It's not going to meet up here. You want to put paper and then redraw the armhole at that point. So I'm just putting this paper there. So we're having this now by the time we put it together and then we can place this ruler and then just continue to draw the armhole. okay so if you look at it closely i i even came down into the armhole so from this point here this is where the original armhole stops so i came down about like half an inch to help sit well by the time we are drawing This is what we'll have. You want to just check that it is on point. Yep, it's on point. So by the time you're joining the armhole, you see it just continues. Continues without any um, interruption or without any gap there. Okay, so we are not done yet. I will just put this paper tape now to hold these bodices together. Because we are actually doing an altar neckline. For the altar neckline, we'll go back to this neck part here, this shoulder part, and measure two inches. So from that two inches, we'll connect it now to this armhole. So place your ruler such that the it's going. Um, just going at once into the armhole that way. And now we can cut this out. So this is what we're going to be having for the altar neckline. The neck there is okay. Um, and this is how it's going to be. This is how it's going to be when you join it up. So if we um, still use a paper tape, if we use a paper tape to hold it together, this is how we'll have it, okay? We'll be having it this way. And that's perfect. So, this will be unfold. 
right? And you're putting half an inch sewing allowance here. Here too, you're putting half an inch sewing allowance. And on the side, you can put one inch sewing allowance. And you're cutting two pieces of this. Front, front. So let's move over to the back. For the back pattern, we are going to um, map out the neckline we're going to be using. We're using a three and a half inches wide neck. Because that was what we still used for the front, three and a half inches, and the depth will be one inch deep. We're doing one inch because we are going to be having like a collar sort of there. Now from here, what we're going to do next is to draw our armhole that find the midpoint between this part. So I will use my measuring tape to measure what I have. Okay, so it's just about here. There's my midpoint. And then I'm going to place my ruler and connect it into that area i'm not going to be tightening the bottom part but here at the top i can do so for me to tighten this part you need to tighten the back as well i'm going to use half an inch tightening that means that i will split half an inch into two i'll use a quarter here and a quarter here and then i will connect this back to this um curve that we did here So once that has been done, the next thing is to measure the um, size of the neck, which is two inches that I'm using. And from that two inches, I can place my um, ruler and connect it because this is an altar neck. So let's place my ruler and connect it into the armhole. So all the places where blue lines are is where I'll be cutting out. Okay, so let's start cutting everything. The armhole. The neck. And this dot Finally, the zipper part here. Awesome. So <clears throat> we can check to see that everything meets. Okay. Putting this together, there's a part that is not meeting right there. So you see why I put paper to fill that up before the front up before cutting the armhole. But for the back, I cut the armhole first, and I'm seeing that it's still not meeting. So I still need to put paper to redraw the armhole. Very good. So. 
can fix it now. This and this. This way. Awesome. So here is what we are having. Now you can see that the armhole continues without any interruption. So let's label. We're cutting two pieces of this. This is the back. This is the zip allowance. And then we are going to put half an inch for the sewing allowance here. Here as well, half an inch for the sewing allowance. You're cutting two pieces back and one inch on the side for the sewing allowance. So that's what we have for the back. We'll go right ahead to cut on fabric as well as you need to decide if you want to use gathers for the lower part of this alternate design dress or you want to use flare for the lower part of this alternate design dress. I will be going for flare. Yeah. So I'll cut flare and then this cut everything, cut the lining, put the sewing allowances, fuse interfacing and yeah. Good. Here is the fabric we're going to be using for this design. So we are going to first things first cut the circle for this fabric. So we're going to be using a full circle for the bottom part of this dress. Now, because of um, the way the Ankara is, by 45 inches, right, that's the width. We won't be able to get a complete full circle without any joining on the sides. So that means that we may need to cut two half circles that will now combine together to get a full circle. How do I mean? You're going to take your waist circumference. The waist circumference we're working with is 36 inches. And you divide that circumference by 2, first of all. We're dividing 36 by 2 because we'll um, cut a half circle for the front and another half circle for the back that when it joins together, it becomes one full circle. I hope you understand me. So we'll do 36 divided by 2. And that is 18 inches. And then the next thing we'll do is 18 divided by 3.14. 18 inches divided by 3.14, and that will give us 5.7. So we are going to be using 5.7 as the um, radius of the circle. Now I'm going to put my measuring tape from here, from the start of this fabric. I'm going to put my measuring tape from the start of this fabric and get 5.7, let's just say 6 inches here, right? So from this 6 inches, the next thing is to um, determine how long you want the bottom of this um, circle to be. Where do you want it to get to? Now, from the top part of my body is to my half length from my shoulder to half length is 16 inches and i want this dress to just be as long as 38 inches in total so if you remove 16 inches from 38 inches you'll be having 22 inches so i'll measure the rest 22 inches which will stop here and then i'll just add two inches for um, sewing allowance. So that's 24 inches there. I'll fold it exactly at that point. This way. And then I can form my triangle. Alright, so 
we will start measuring from here 5.7 inches we're starting from this point here and we're measuring 5.7 so for 5.7 i'm using this place as so i'm using for 5.7 just before 6 inches Then from there, I'll measure the length of the circle. So, um, 24 inches, like I said, that's what we have. So, I'll just go around with 24 inches. I'll cut this out. So this is what we have here and this would be like I said for only the front if you look at it if you measure it it's going to be slightly more than 18 inches let's see from here here yeah it's more than 18 inches remember you need the zipper allowance at the back and all of that so for the second one maybe instead of doing 5.7 you can do 5.5 right now if you wanted a half circle all around the dress then you do not need to divide your waist circumference by two but because i want this to eventually um, be a full circle that's why i'm dividing the waist circumference by two so this one would only be for the front and yeah let's cut all the other patterns cut the second half circle Cut the other patterns on fabric, fuse the interfacing, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so here is what we should be having for the back bodies and the front bodies. We've got some fabric, two pieces, this unfold, this two pieces, and this two pieces as well. My sewing allowances have been included along the inseam and along the side seam so this is ready and then for the and then for the bottom part of the dress i'm having my two circles one that will be used for the front and the back they'll be joined along this um, side seams right so they'll be matched up along the seams and then if i want to put pockets i can go ahead to add pockets to this right you can add pockets and you're also going to divide the back into two so for the back by the time you fold this way you are going to still open it up here because that's where the zipper will be we're having a bad zipper for this time all right so we have come to the end of this tutorial to see the sewing process of this tutorial how we're going to be joining it up and having that enclosed crisp seam finish on the inside of the garment click this video to keep on watching and yeah till we see you in the next tutorial stay safe god bless you all bye